From Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen, and I'm alongside SlickJoe08 at Yahoo.com. Did you just give my email address to our millions and millions and millions of viewers? Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. You're still on Yahoo. <laughs> It's, I'm already starting to get emails. <laughs> oh, no, wait, this is from my mom. This is a hilarious forward. See, if you send it to seven people, Bill Gates sends you $1,000. Send that yeah, to me. Whatever. I'll take that. Okay. Send it I'll on. forward over. it to you. Are you oh, you're on Hotmail, though, right? Yeah, Hotmail. Yeah. <laughs> Hotmail. What a loser. We continue day number one at Seminole Hard Rock, and so far, Jennifer Tilly, <laughs> well, she's got a lot of work to do. I think that's safe to say. Most of the money that she has down has went to the player sitting right next yeah, to her. Yeah, my nickname then was the mop. Really? Because you yeah. mop with the flow no, of the I had, like, big mop. I had, like, really long hair. Like, uh, not really long, but just, you know, like this, but actually a little longer. Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal. You know, I need a fine picture of this. I played basketball long enough that when I was in junior varsity basketball, it was still the days of the short shorts. <laughs> they were like the huggers. They were still, they were still, that's how long ago I was in high school. Tube socks, too? You had the tube socks? No, tube socks had gone away, but the huggers were still in place. This is early 90s. Early 90s is like right when Fab Five came out and like everyone started going baggy. But they obviously hadn't picked up that in my high school yet. Jason <laughs> so. Mercier with more sets than the Franklin Mint. I can't believe his luck against her. Like, I'd buy her into tournaments to come sit at the same <laughs> table as I am to I keep getting this kind of luck. Because, uh, they've always so Jen's bet 400. Say, Mercier yeah. kicks it up to 1,400. Ones, Just right, fold, Jen. JV ones, so. Just fold at this well, time. Run, run, run. Oh, boy. This is going to be a shame. On. There's the jam. Jason. Jen. <laughs> Jen, you cannot do anything but fold. Please. We love you. Just stay down. What would you do, Stuart? I don't know you're holding, but if I did, I don't think I'm supposed to re reveal that. Good answer. I like the way you answered that question. John, here's what I would do. Call a cab. <laughs> I'll tell you, I, what I'd be rooting for it to happen is either call and win. But I don't know, but I don't try to influence your action. <laughs> but of course, that's... Tilly trying to do what she loves to do, which is act. Unfortunately, Jason's the one holding the actual script. My dream. Show one, Jay. Four Step clubs. Show four clubs. My dream, one day, <laughs> is to win a pot <laughs> off of Jason. Top shelf liquor, but it'll be on him, <laughs> August 11th. Uh, okay. But it's free. You know, All right. Pain. I'm going to go, I'm going to nice. play carefully. He's talking about his, his 40th birthday And with heart. He's inviting oh. me, but only Until if he's still oh, raising yeah. under yeah. the gun with some questionable pain. hands. Yeah. That's nice. It's very nice of him. That's really nice invite. <laughs> well, I mean, we're close friends. If you pay. When Eolas folds her pair, <laughs> she doesn't want any part of this Tilly yeah, train wreck, really I guess. <laughs> Esther Taylor calls the $300 bet. The bar was only going to be open for like a couple of hours. Donation. And so does Mercer. Oh, boy. Jason claims he's making a donation. Something tells me the guy starting with the best hand is probably not going to give this up too easily. Gentilly has four high. A shocker. Flush draw for Taylor. Mercer checks the best hand, which is an overpair to this board. 600 to bet from Tilly, again with four high. Called in one spot and is very likely to be called in two spots. And that's correct. I'm sure that's just what she wanted, getting called in two spots when she's got four high. Another deuce on the turn. I think this is a definite check call spot for both players, both Mercier and Taylor. Interesting. Jason's going to bet, which is going to lead me to believe that this is actually the right move. Ooh. A raise. And a call, so this pot now is over $10,000. 
Nothing for Esther Taylor. She bricks out. Jason's still got an overpair. None of the flop draws came in. It's gonna be pretty tough to get Jason to fold in this spot. All in. Oh boy. Oh. I said I was gonna be tough to get Jason to fold. This is her absolute best effort. Oh my lord. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. How does he do it? All right, guys, we have to leave you by yourselves here at the Hard Rock. Don't worry, we left $20 on the counter for you to order a pizza. We'll be right back. So I'm here with Brad Garrett. I was a big fan of, you know, Everyone Loves Raymond. Thank you. I really Thank was. You very much. I thought you were fantastic. Very around. grateful. Very grateful yeah. for that. And team. both you and Ray are poker players. Yes, we do. You know, we're, we're donkeys, you know, to be honest. And, you know, Ray's very rich, but uh, if he loses two bucks, it's, oh, I should have known. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't, oh, my wallet is so heavy. You know, this is the first time I've been in your room where I haven't felt compromised. <laughs> Seriously, this is, this is unbelievable. Okay. You, remember, you were like, just put on the pirate outfit. Just, just see how it fits. I'm in group therapy alone. Mm -hmm. That's how messed up I am. Yeah. But this is what I learned a long time ago. You know, as my people say, uh, hit them hard and then retail. Who's you know, your best friend? My imaginary friend named Skipper. OK. OK, Brad. Listen, that was this great. has been great. Come by any time. I, really, I love your, your, this is the suite they give you. I was complaining. The greatest poker player in the world. This is, uh, what, are you, what, what are you, staying with a couple from Denver? Who's in there? They can't give you a suite? Let me take care of it. Like, like, what do you mean by that? Because, you know, sometimes I've been feeling quite alienated. <laughs> 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 South Florida, the place we be at Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida. I want to get this done with. I want to get some pool time. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm actually wearing a swimsuit under these pants. You can't, I mean. Pool's closed, man. What? Gators. Stop. I'm so frightened. Every time I'm in a hell with Jason, I know he's going to somehow either outflop me, outplay me, or... Or fold. He's Who wants never beverages? Folded. I don't think he's ever folded. <laughs> Anybody? No one else is drinking at the face that I am. I am drinking. What's wrong with me? Poker Night in America brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal, a raise to 1700 from wow. Esther Taylor. Trying to isolate Jennifer Tilty with the sued connectors. Oh, these, are, these are small beverages, though. I think it's a... Bit... I just, they're Jason, all this, I want you in there. Well, then you should have made it like Power 600. Call me. Power <laughs> call. Nice open. Flop is deuce six king. Yay, Jennifer Tilly finally hits a set. Yay, she's gonna win like five grand max. Well, I mean, I, I don't want to call it what it is. I mean, winning is great, but well, one more. Not much oh, of yeah. a cold deck, but Taylor is betting. <laughs> one more for the road. Uh, no, I'm doing really very well. Anybody else want a beverage? <laughs> 850 was the bet from Taylor till he calls. So we're at 5,500. I guess I'm the only one, but that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to Unless it's a 10, 9, or a spade, we're not going to see much money. Oh, maybe. Maybe we'll see more money from Taylor. Yikes. A lot of folks will slow down once they catch something on the turn, not Ite. Jen's reputation preceding her. Esther thinks she can get paid betting this pair of 10s. 1,400 was the bet and a call as we go to the river. It's a queen. Action's gonna be on Esther Taylor, she checks. A carefully placed $3,000 bet. Let's see what Taylor does here on the river. She is going to let the hand go. All right, Jennifer Tilly, there's 11,000 to the good. Good fold. You will see. 
much. I'm playing pretty quick. You're playing quick? And wow, dude, I'm really impressed by the whole thing. <laughs> I could play faster. I do play slow. I don't try to. I just do. I don't really. I'm gonna there play really go. fast now. <gasps> I try oh to speed faster. it up. Riley under the gun. Oh, but. so cute. Yeah, I did. Look how happy they are. Yeah, the raises with queen ten. Kate Hall has got ace queen right next to him. She's been playing pretty snug today yeah, too. She just right. flats. Is it? Not snug, Jen Tilly. Playing darn near anything. <laughs> Pocket sixes this time around. Oh, I was in the call one time. She hops on the poker carousel. As we spin back over to Riley, it's 550 to call. I think everybody's gonna want a little piece of the Tilly action. Yeah, there's no folding here anywhere. One call, and now to Hall. Hey, Hall, where's Oats? Huh? Where's Oats? True story, I actually saw Hall and Oats here at Seminole Hard Rock a couple of years ago. Like you saw them perform or you saw them? You yeah, know? no, they were working. Uh, they were in the- uh, They were serving drinks in the pool? Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know how to bring that up, but no, performing here, it's a great concert. Another set for Jen Tilly. And she might get some money out of Kate Hall here. It was pretty unfortunate for Kate, who's been playing pretty dang tight all day long, and now she's in a position where there's really no way to get away from this. Call of the 1300. So we'll now go to the turn. So three. Check. Bet call. Is that what's coming next? Check, bet, call. 2,000 the bet from Tilly. To answer your question, yes, Chris, I believe that is what's happening next. Call from Hall. And I think any reasonable bet on the river is gonna put Kate all in. Gentilly, river's a full house. Had the best hand to begin with. Very little out there for her to be afraid of. She's losing to eights and threes and aces, and that is it. How much did you bet on the flop? Um, I think somebody was in hand, somebody smart, and they dropped something, and I didn't go to pick it up, and he started laughing at me. Because he says, not a tell if you pick your chip that you drop on the floor. So that's how I was laughing. Not because I have a better hand than you. <laughs> Which I totally do. <laughs> I don't think she got it. I was the one that picked it up. So. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I go where I go my poker face. <laughs> you can go ahead and fold, Kate. I got you. Oh. <clears throat> or maybe I don't. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, oh, goodbye. God. I lost myself. Can we see it, please? Can no, you cannot. Um, but <laughs> it's just cracking me up because you go, how much did you bet on the flop, yeah. young lady, like you were a lawyer interrogating me? <laughs> <laughs> and I was doing this and it was like, <laughs> and it went on the ground and I was like, I'll just ignore it. And then helpful Stu there is like, she's gonna need that $25 for the cab. <laughs> and then he goes to get it. Poker Night in America at Seminole Hard Rock, brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal. You know who's having a great time tonight? Jason Mercer. Look at his chip stack compared to Kate Hall's to his right. It's like they're not even playing the same game. It's weird how chips can indicate fun level, but there's an actual <laughs> mathematic formula to it. It's funny how uh, people ask questions like they think the person's gonna answer them. Some do. Sometimes they do. <laughs> well, I did. That, that jiggled the response out of me. 
<laughs> yeah, it's just she got too many different responses out of you. <laughs> she had to go back to square one and think I about it again. I should have gone under the table. I shouldn't have said fold your cards. I just was like, mm. I should have just, you know. Flop is jack, deuce, deuce, so Taylor stays where she was at in the lead. Hall gonna take a stab at this in position. And I think once she gets called here, that should pretty much be the end of things. I know it's a cash game and things go a little differently, but this is such a dry board. There's not a lot of hands that Taylor's calling the flop with that she's gonna fold on the turn. Turn is a nine. Especially if the turn's not really something scary you can represent, like a meaner. Kate may be setting up a river shove, however. 875, the bet from Kate Hall. She's drawing dead, by the way. The walking dead sitting next to the drawing dead. Can I get it in one more time? Go for it. Carl! <laughs> Jack on the river, two pair for Taylor. Does put some straights out there. Taylor checks. Kate Hall wondering if one more bet is going to get rid of Esther Taylor. She's gonna give it a try. You're good. If you are Kate Hall there, I mean, you're not winning a showdown, so if you wanna to try to get that money back, you just have to give it a rip. Is this the last hand? It is. Yeah. Oh. Let's all just go crazy. I'm so bummed. Yes, <laughs> I was hoping for the seven way all in, anybody? Sure. <laughs> a lot of times crazy things happen in the last hand. So far it's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Going crazy. That's just oh. a call, right? <laughs> That's just a call? Looks it is. like it. Is that a call there? <laughs> I'm gonna raise. I will make it four. It's dust. Oh, Jennifer. Oh, not again. We were doing so well. She knows you can't flop a set with queen four, right? <laughs> All right, Jen. It's one of those spots, donation. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, we've heard that before. <laughs> this time it is much more donation like nine five of diamonds, or you could just flop a flush draw and a pair. Top set for Wendini Olis, but Jennifer Tilly doing what Tilly does, betting 800. Oh, he holds us down the position of right. calling or raising, and she goes with the raise okay. to all in. I respect right. the move. I don't think Jason can yeah. fold, though. However much you want. There's the call from Jason. It's the person that bet at it, the only person without a hand. Jennifer, fold, fold. Yeah. All right. I wouldn't make it past the turn with eights. Yeah. All right, on their backs. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to. It's a cash game. I like turning them up, but whatever. A little flush. There, there it is. is. Flush. So we're going to need the board to pair, or Jason's going to claim another victim. Nope, he just makes a flush twice. Oh my goodness. Every possible thing is going his way tonight. It's Jason's we world. Live. We just live in it. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's not even right. Everybody else loses? So this is interesting. Usually we have to have two pages, one for the winners and one for the losers. Turns out just one winner in this game, Jason Mercier. Like, I've done the conveyor belt as an adult, it's just kind of like, eh. Like, by comparison, it was definitely more tame than what I was doing as a child. Oh, yeah. We would go down the road, which is really safe. The majority of the things people do to think that they're catering to the to the spot ultimately like alienate the spot. Well, like, what do you mean by that? Because you know, sometimes I've been feeling quite alienated. <laughs> <laughs> Poker Night in America is brought to you by our trusted friend, Kimosabi Mezcal. Why settle for tequila? Step up to Kimosabi. Welcome back. Welcome to back poker. to Poker Night in America. He's Chris Hansen and I'm Joe Stapleton. Joe, you, you, you took my part. I thought it was getting a little stale. Isn't it kind of fun to mix it up a bit? No, Joe, you can't just, you know, take a thing and make it your own. That was my thing. It's, it's literally all I have left on the show. Don't you have like three kids? Oh, on the show, sorry. I'm sorry, buddy, it's 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 yours. I mean, now, now and forever. Do you want to take the, the next part? 
No, you already started. You might as well go ahead and finish. Okay, we're face up with Esther Taylor. Obviously, I you know try and spend a lot of time with my family, but this is like my full time job. I'm not dying to have this be my full time job for the rest of my life. You know, if I'm being honest, like I really think that poker will kind of always be there. Maybe not full time, but um, it'll always be around probably until I am like a grandma or something. <laughs> and then I could probably get away with a lot more. <laughs> 2016. Yeah. Go back and talk to 2016. Yeah. And give her some poker advice. What would some advice be that you would give her? You're not as hot as you think you are. The the lines that you take with hands needs to be more believable. <laughs> and also, I think 2016 sometimes needs to needs to talk to 2016 Ite. Like Ite, you don't have to like try and just you know you don't have to win every single pot you play. Like um, patience, Ite. Like you know. So there's there's both. You know, but. I do know so much more now, which I've really just kind of learned in the past two years than I ever did, you know, back then in 2006 through 2009, 10, whatever. I look at people and I'm like, that, that, that was me. Like, I want to kind of just like take them under my wing and be like, just geez, calm, you know, calm down. You go to PokerNight.com for more from Poker Night in America. No, 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 no. Do it, do it the good. You can do it good. Come on, do it the good way. Really? Yeah. You think I can? You let me? Yeah. Do there we go. All right, here we go. Let's try it. For more from Poker Night in America, visit us at PokerNight.com or connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch for updated information, full episodes, and unedited live streams. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. Thanks for watching. That felt really good. You nailed Thanks. It. Yeah, you got it. Poker Night is brought to you by Kimo Sabi Mezcal.